Namaste. Hi, welcome to your distance learning and practice. For today, let's learn the Brahmari Pranayama or the Bumble Bee Breath. It's helpful in relaxing, restoring the nervous system, and calming the mind. Energetically, this stimulates the throat chakra, the Vishuddhi chakra, for the health of our throat region, the vocal cords, and also affects the Talu chakra, the deeply hidden chakra inside the nasal cavity. You know, stimulate the nerves there, which in turn will affect the inner brain where the pituitary and the pineal glands are located, so we in can increase the flow of the alpha and the theta brain waves for deep sleep, relaxation, and meditation. So we can appreciate the significance of the method. I have here the illustration of the brain, the neck region. All right. The technique will require us to vibrate the vocal cords, yeah. And by vibrating the vocal cords, we stimulate the nerves located in the upper throat region. All right. Together with that technique, we will also be narrowing the pathways of the higher uh, regions of the mouth towards the nasal region. And later on, I will be teaching you how to do that. And then when we do that, we stimulate the nerves located higher up the neck region. And then by closing the gap and by lifting the pulsation or the vibration of the, the vocal cords when we uh, vibrate them, yeah, we stimulate this part of our neck region towards the upper spine. Yeah, and the talu chakra is actually right here. And then by narrowing the pathways and lifting the vibration of the technique, we stimulate the nerves here and that will affect the talu chakra. And then when the talu chakra is slightly stimulated, yeah, it will affect the inner brain where the pituitary gland and the pineal glands are located and then when the inner brain is stimulated it will release the brain waves of the theta and the alpha and the theta brain waves and the alpha brain waves are responsible for relaxing the mind uh, for sleep deep sleep uh, restoration and meditation all right so that's the energetic significance of the method yeah in a nutshell so let's learn it so it's not just uh, vibrating the vocal cords, there are technicalities here. All right. As opposed to just closing the mouth and vibrating the lips, like, mm, no. Yeah. So we will be uh, initiating the, the pulsation or the vibration um, by closing the backs of the nasal region. Yeah. So the best way to learn it is by saying the word Oh, oh, especially the ng. Now, when you say the mm, 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 can you feel the the throat region will involuntarily um, narrow? Yeah, here, this spot, yeah, higher up the mouth. Mm, mm, mm. Can you feel it? Yeah, close. Yeah. Mm. All right, and then yeah, when you're able to you now feel that sensation. You can actually vibrate the vocal cords now. All right, and you can close your lips. So that's the best way to learn it. Instead of closing the lips right away and vibrating the lips, yeah, the best way, a more uh, easy way to learn you know, the deep aspects of the technique is by saying the nasal sound ng. And then vibrate the vocal cords. And then close the lips. All right. So you may actually, for argument's sake, you know, compare the two methods. Just close your lips. Do this with me. And then just vibrate the lips without you doing the, uh, the technique happening behind the throat region. Mm. And then close the nasal region, say the word NG, and vibrate the vocal cords. The first method again. Second method. Can you feel the difference? Yeah, right away you can feel the difference. When you just vibrate the lips, the pulsation is more here, and the frequency is low and humming. When you vibrate, you know, using the backs of the nasal region, you can feel it really inside. 
yeah, right and left uh, temples, and then really towards the backs of the throat, yeah, close to the cranial region. That is the technique. Not just by braiding the lips, yeah, but by braiding, yeah, uh, using the backs of the nasal region. All right. So the 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 vibration of uh, the vocal cords is easy. Yeah. So just hum it. And what's important is here, this one. Yeah. Really uh, towards the the higher regions of the mouth. Yeah. Leading towards the backs of the nasal region. So when you say the word ng, mm -hmm, and then vibrate it using the vocal cords, that's it. And then you lightly just close the lips. You don't close the lips too hard, like the lips are just passively closed, mm -hmm, and then vibrating it. And then through time and practice, you will be able to close your lips completely. But don't grip it. So you're going to keep the, the sensation yeah, uh, towards the backs of the nasal region. So that's the basic technique. Now, how do we breathe through the process? Yeah. So we're going to take this long breath in, keep the spine tall, of course, this is given. And at the top of the breath, you will do a retention, um, inhale retention, and then lightly close the throat yeah, by folding the chin closer to the neck. So this is the chin mudra, and this will enhance the narrowing of the backs of the nasal region. You can do the Ujjayi breath or your, your natural breath. Yeah, because Ujjayi breath is not um, recommended for everyone. So if you have heart conditions or any conditions which are contraindicated for Ujjayi breath, just do, just do your normal breath. Yeah. You're going to take that long breath in, closing at the top of it, retain, and then vibrate the vocal cords. Mm -hmm. close the lips now yeah so when you vibrate the vocal cords that's where the lungs expel the air but after the technique yeah for example you finish it mm, all right you will feel the small all air left inside so just allow it to exhale completely and then opening up the throat opening up the neck and then a few recovery breaths before the next set all right now we will be enhancing the method by closing our ears using our index fingers. Yeah. So we're learning it step by step and then later on we're going to combine them all together. All right. So the index fingers will firmly press the cartilage of our ears. Firm. Yeah, when you close the ears, you will feel this uh, vacuum. Yeah, and you will feel this humming sound inside your ears, yeah, like the vacuum there. Yeah. But and then you will close the ears at the top of that uh, inhalation. Yeah, so we're going to take that long conscious breath in. Closing the throat at the top, close the ears. And then hum it. Light clip, release the hands, open the neck, and just release the all there out. You will feel that the need to release some all there out, and then recover the breath. All right, a few recovery breaths, and then you do your next set. All right, so can we do uh, a set practice? Huh? Sitting tall. Yeah. Start by you know, feeling your natural breath in through your nose, out through your nose. All right. Preparatory breath in. Exhale. As right. you inhale, you know, practice the chin mudra. Hold the top, close the ears. Vibrate the vocal cords. Mm. Like that. 
release the hands all air out some of it will just exit just release it out and breathe mm -hmm. recover the breath while you recover the breath keep your spine open and keep your attention fixed to the residual sound the mind remembers the, the sound inside exhale preparatory breath in exhale out All right, prepare the hands breathing in closing the throat chin lock close the ear retain vibrate the vocal cords mm. the hands, loosen the neck, hold out, remaining old breath out, recover, like the sound is still lingering there, yeah, you will feel the throat, you may feel your throat a bit dry, yeah, if you feel you need to restore the mouth, you might swallow a few times there, and just to restore your throat, restore the mouth, Let's do one more. Preparatory breath in. Full exhale. All right. Prepare the hands. Breathing in. Throat lock. Chin lock. Close the ear. Mm. allow the old air to exit and recover the breath and meditate upon stillness and silence you may form the Gyan Mudra with your index and the finger on the thumbs together and just rest your hands on top of your knees or thighs keep the spine tall hold the body still and listen now send your awareness inside the brain and hear just make your breath light breath comes back and lightly blink the eyes open yes so that's the full method yeah from the technique yeah to the energetic uh, components inside the body and of course uh, the spiritual aspect of it and the spiritual aspect of it is inside you is the divine force yes and the pulsation of the universe the universal force has a pulsation has a frequency and the frequency is similar to what you just did yeah, and it's mostly uh, happening inside the inner brain and yeah, the temple yeah, God is inside you God is inside your body yeah. you are the temple of God yeah. now um, how do we practice this now um, uh, work progressively maybe the first two weeks just three repetitions just like this practice and then add one repetition every one or two weeks don't rush you know what's more important is you feel the pulsations you feel the uh, the vibrations and be comfortable with the technique yeah? until such time that you don't have to think about the technicalities anymore it, it just happens yeah all right key points again 
vibrating the vocal cords and then allow the technique to happen predominantly towards the backs of the nasal region. So how do we do that? By closing the nasal region with the NG sound, similar to and then vibrating there as you allow the lungs to release the air and lightly close the lips but don't squeeze yeah and then you will feel your lips slightly vibrate but mostly it's coming from the back and after that when you feel the lungs become heavy yeah, just opening up the pathway and there will be some old air yeah left inside just release it out and then just recover the breath a few times and then do your next technique and after the practice of the brahmari hold the body still meditate upon the residual sound you will feel it actually i'm still hearing it now it's been there it's there all along it's just that our senses are so busy and distracted so when we're able to finally acknowledge that the frequency is there present all along it's there when we need it yeah to nourish our body to nourish our hearts to uplift our spirit to relax and calm our minds see you next time namaste Alternatively, you can use the thumbs to close the ears, but the rest of the techniques remain the same. So when you use the thumbs, the rest of your fingers rest on your forehead. So let's do one round of using our thumbs. Yeah? Breathing in, prepare the hands, remember the energy, okay? Close the throat, close the ears, rest the fingers on your forehead, clip. Mm. Opening the pathways, yeah, all they're out, and recover the breath. Personally, I use my thumbs because it allows me to relax my shoulders more.